What's up? Okay, today we're gonna try a Skyrim speedrun called Marriage Percent, where the entire speedrun is about creating a new file, flying to Riften, and getting married as fast as possible. So we're gonna start a new file, go to Riften, and get married, and as soon as the marriage happens and I say I do, the time ends. Now, this is actually a pretty competitive category, weirdly enough. There's 45 people. I don't know how hard this will be. I would like to get top 10 today. I feel like that's doable. I haven't tried this speedrun before. I'm not good at Skyrim speedrunning. Um, I haven't practiced or, you know, uh, warmed up and I have a headache, but nothing that's slamming my head against it for a little bit can't fix. Sorry, can't give any cash. Haven't eaten in three days. <laughs> Dude, you don't have... Just go eat. Go eat food. You should go consume food or work on consuming food rather than watch my stream. But hey, glad to have you here. You're gonna have some of my Indian food. See, there you go. Indian food is so good. Like curries are just phenomenal. That's the worst part about being on keto is I can't have naan, I can't have pizza. Those are brutal. Oh, keto cooking class. Do you wanna hear about my, my diet? So on keto, for people who don't know, you basically have almost no carbs. So like no bread, nothing with sugar, anything like that, basically none. And then you have a shitload of protein. So it's a lot of like meat or eggs or whatever, but then you have lots of fat. The way you fill your calories is with fat and I am profoundly lazy with food. I despise spending time cooking. Like I cannot stand it. So, you know, if I have like some chicken, some eggs or whatever, like those are simple, but I still have like 1500 calories that I have to eat with like fat and stuff like that to get through each day. And you can't just like have a bunch of snacks like you normally do because you're on keto and you can barely have anything and everything has carbs, right? Most days I have between three and four shots of olive oil, just straight olive oil that I just pour into a shot glass. Actually, one that YouTube sent me as like a fun cocktail thing. And I didn't use it for cocktails because I'm on keto. And instead I use the shot glass. I fill it with, with just olive oil. I pound the shot, wash it down with some water and do it three more times. And that's an easy, easy 800 calories. And that is legitimately about half my diet is just olive oil. I go to Costco like every two weeks and buy three to four giant bottles of olive oil because I'm having like a cup of it a day just straight. This is not a joke. <laughs> this is what I've been doing for months. Olive oil shots on straight. I can't, I'm telling you, this isn't like a fun thing for me anymore. It's just like a core part of my diet. You don't understand how efficient it is to, to take shots of olive oil. Literally, this is the pace I do it. One thousand calories. That's so efficient. That is absurdly efficient. I mean, it tastes horrible and I despise it, but it's really, really efficient. And then I have time for other things. So much time for activities. Are you at least one percent olive oil? I honestly might be at this point. I don't know what percentage of my organs are now made of olive oil. I looked it up and all I find is articles about not to do it. Dude, I'm not trying to convince you to do keto. In fact, I'm probably doing the opposite by telling you about my olive oil obsession. It's just been good for me. It's been really, really good for me. All right, we should probably play Skyrim. How does that much oil not give you diarrhea? That's the cool thing. It doesn't not give me diarrhea. I think you guys underestimate how little I want to spend my evenings cooking. That's the problem. Anyone else feel like running? Like All right, I have to be a high elf because he's the tallest and that's what determines the speed. The speed run will start once I get control of my character. So the first step is going to be to run into the tower and jump onto the walls and escape Helgen. <laughs> and... Live. Okay, I got infinite sprint glitch on. Wait for Mr. Alduin. Hello. Now we jump along the walls. Damn it. Oh wait, I think I need a lockpick or something. Shit, I don't remember. Uh, I get an iron sword. I'll get, I get a spoon. Okay, can I make a save? I go back to my quick save. Also, the timer, the way this is set up is that when I'm in a load screen, the timer does not continue. And that's to make it even, to, so that even if I have a really fast PC, it, it doesn't give me an advantage. Okay, this is the quick save that I always have issues with. One, two, three, four, five, six, E down, E, E. First try, hell yeah. Now I load the save that I did here and this will warp me out the side of Helgen Keep with my hands unbound. And now I go. Now we go get the horse. Eight minutes left. Hey, don't, don't celebrate yet, all right? 
horse tilt is the hard part. I have to fly to Riften. It's not gonna be good. In fact, I'm gonna put a marker. I have to go here. Okay. I go to third person. I have to remember all this shit. I create a save here. I steal a horse. Hey, Doug. Olive oil shots on stream, Pog? Yeah, I'm fine with it. All right, now I load my quick save, and we fly off into the distance, and I just have to get to Riften alive. Ooh, okay, I need a lot more speed than that. Depending on how far he is from his horse. All right, that's a lot of speed. Oh my god. Okay, I'm at Riften. <laughs> that was, okay. This is fine. A little too much speed. So, as you can see, I'm gonna have to figure out the balance of speed and accuracy. We know you have a problem. This stream is an intervention to speak about your olive oil addiction. No. We care for you. No, my olive oil addiction's cool and fun. If olive oil doesn't affect you, can we lube you up in olive oil? Why would that be necessary? Yo, hold on. All right, we're doing a speed run. So now I'm at Riften, a little longer than I wanted. Before I let you into Riften, okay, we do this, and we go into Riften. Now that we're in here, I need to steal a bunch of money, because we're going to need that money to afford the, the marriage. So I come to this dude. I say hello. What have you got for sale? Now I do the vendor glitch, and I can sell his own stuff to him. And I take all of his money, and now I leave. I want to know more about the Temple of Mara. Could I have a wedding at the temple? So he's teaching me how to get married right now. I buy the amulet of Mara, which lets me woo somebody. I go to this random guy. I say, dude! I equip the amulet. I say, hey, I know we met literally three seconds ago. Want to get married? Yes. Why wouldn't it settle? Brief as life can be in Skyrim. And I leave? And I bump into this dude. I say hello. I'd like to have a wedding. Don't want to miss your own wedding. I run to the temple. No, shut up, Minion Rolf. Shut up. I have to get married. Okay, I come here. 17 hours. Drop it down. Okay. I think this is it. Why is this guy in front of me? How do I move? Why won't I move? Oh, 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 oh! Once I say I do, that's time. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my god, there has to be a way to speed this up. Oh, Mercurio. Time. Oh, we did it. You know, I'm kind of tired of being shackled down. I need to have a little bit of space for myself. I'd like to get a divorce, Mercurio. I'm sorry, things just weren't working out. Cool! With that being said, that's, that's a long time. So, how the fuck do I shave off four and a half minutes? The marriage was never consummated. I don't know if you can consummate in this game. I might need to add some special mods for that. All right, let's watch the world record for, for marriage speedrun. See how we save time. I need to save a lot of time. Okay, so he sets his little save right here. He steals the horse. This is all stuff I was basically doing fine. Dude, he lands right there. Okay, so he goes to the right side of Riften and also does it first try. Those are both important things. Well, you have then he hits the guard and he goes to jail. So instead of talking to the guard and being friendly and running through the city, he just goes to prison, gets out of prison. The finest weapons and armor. Steals all his, wait, what What did he have? So he has a lock pick. Where did he get this lock pick? So basically you need one item to activate the vendor glitch from jail. Oh, as long as I play the best GTA 5 of my life is definitely doable. I think I can do this. So right now I am rank shit for I'm almost last place. What should we say? Sub six minutes. That'd be hard. I'd have to actually play the best Skyrim of my life. Again, time starts once I can move. Sorry to say, but you'll be at this for a while. This way. All right, I'm trying to do the quick save. There we go. I have infinite sprint glitch on. Here's my boy. Hello. Why doesn't it jump? I don't understand, dude. Why doesn't it jump? God damn it. It's not jumping when I'm on that rock thing. Okay, so it's like right when I first step on it. That's when I press spacebar. Maybe they patched the rock. They haven't been patching Skyrim. So do you not eat any food and just drink olive oil? Are you doing it to lose weight? God, we are still on this olive oil thing. No, I eat food. Can't say you chug a thousand calories of olive oil and not expect it to still be going. I didn't think it's that interesting, to be honest. 
I mean, it's weird, but it's not like that crazy. And now people think I literally just sit around like a some sort of olive vampire and don't have any human food. I don't piss oil. I piss out pee like a normal human. I'm like a functioning- all my organs work fine, you guys. All right, you fucking rock. I will jump off you. No! I swear to God, this stupid ass rock. I will jump off you. It's not a very good day to believe it. Wait, am I free? Dude, cut the bindings. I don't understand. I, I don't understand how that guy does it in like a cool, fast way. Oh, I quick save. Ooh. All right, so let me just explain what happened here. So you basically split the timeline when you start the run. On one save file, you run off towards the cave, and the other save file, you come in here and you get your hands unbound. And then once I get my hands unbound, then I warp over to this save. I do the load warp glitch and I pull the, the save where my hands are unbound out to that spot. And then I'm outside of Helgen, outside of the intro with my hands unbound. So you like split the timeline and then take the hands unbound one and warp it over to that location. The issue is that I took this one and ruined it. And now I'm just stuck in here. So congratulations to the doubters. You can do this, I believe. Raymarie, I believe it's happening. Right now. I swear to God, this stupid ass rock. I will jump off you. It's not a very good day to believe her. Of course. Jesus, take the wheel. There you go. Take a look around. Oh, I, oops, I already ruined it again. I ruined it again. I quick saved. This dude, how was he skipping the conversation of getting his hands unbound? Because this is taking me a while. I was, I'm quick saving because I'm trying to like get through the oh maybe that's why he goes left so he can quick he goes here first and makes a save he's here so he's looking down at the ground and basically with this you're trying to enter the way it works for people who don't know is you you enter into the loading zone at the same frame that you press escape to go to the menu and then what happens is you can access the menu while loading into a new zone and then if somebody else loads that save, then it warps them into the zone. So that's how the load warp works. So you basically, you, you get like at the very, this is like the edge of the load zone right here, where if you walk here, it'll load into the cave. And you're trying to walk into it and open the menu at the exact same time. And he just does it. But he's like maybe a quarter of the screen distance between his cursor and this rock thing. And then he walks into it, takes like a step, and goes to his main menu. There. That makes sense. And then he turns around. Okay. I think I get how to do that because you're supposed to have like three lines of dialogue with this dude first i don't understand how he did that so fast i think he's quick saving and quick loading because you can skip a line of dialogue if you quick save and quick load so you're a well-oiled machine <laughs> yes a well-oiled speed run machine here we go I, I i need to practice the rock i don't understand I don't get it. The frickin' timer. God, I don't understand, like, some people, no matter, like, I could do this, okay? And, like, some people will still come into the stream. There are people who come into the stream every day and are like, WHAT'S GOING ON? And usually they say it in all caps. And it's like, there's so, like, the title of the stream will say what's happening, this will say what's happening, I will keep reiterating, and people just, like, have to demand what's happening. And like, I there's just like 15 people who are like, the timer, the timer. I never have any idea what's going on. I just know I must believe. I imagine there's a not insignificant percentage of you guys who just do not know what's going on and just kind of just kind of watch anyways. Doug, what is happening? I just like, I don't know how to provide more information. I feel like I do a fairly good job of explaining what's happening and I make the title of the stream helpful and I put text in the stream to explain what is happening and people will just freak out. I'm sure pe regulars have seen it all the time. If somebody who comes in and is like, what is happening? And I'm just like, everything is here for you. They had to have like clicked the stream, but not read the title and then not look at what's going on and not listen to what I'm saying and just immediately go for Twitch chat and start spamming in all caps. Like, like it takes so much more effort to ignore all of the signs of what is happening. This happens all the time. Holy crap, Doug, what is happening? You'll have to figure it out for yourself. There's no information. So should I start drinking olive oil instead of water, yes or no? <laughs> you need water. Cannot be clear enough. This is this is not mutually exclusive. You are perfectly capable of having both of those things in your in your body. Hey, Doug. I hey. just got married and I'm my so wife enthusiastic. and I both love your streams. 
Anyways, I just got back from my divorce attorney and just joined. <laughs> What's going on? In the um, Twitch chat expanded universe, in the official lore, I am curious what is the longest marriage that has existed. So I'm not clear if anybody has been married for more than two days. <sighs> this time, this time it's happening. Come on. Sit. My magnum opus. Right here. Oh my god, I'm the greatest. What is happening? Who are you? <laughs> How did I get here? Me, me, Doug! Doug! Okay, here's the, the load warp. One, two, three, four, five, six. E down, E, E. That was not bad. Not great, but not bad. Okay, I mean, this could be it, believers. As long as I do the horse tilt well, then we're in it. I'm being really safe with this. All right, I'm gonna go about halfway up. That's more than halfway. You know what? It's gonna be fine. Best guy of my life. Not, uh, not, not fine. It wasn't even, I, there wasn't even enough speed. I don't understand. How did he do it with so little speed? I'm going higher. I'm going even further beyond. What on earth is happening? Where? Where? What the fuck was that? Do I just go? I mean, it's not that far away. <laughs> Do I just run? I mean, I didn't do this in a way that was good or efficient at all, but technically it's possible. I think six minutes is doable. Okay, I need 700 gold. I've got 700 gold. No! God damn it, Bernal! Want to know about Temple Mara? Could I have a wedding? Yes. I'll buy an amulet. Ah! I talked to him. Consider yourself hired. Do you want to get married? Cool. I want to have a wedding. Okay. I won't be. Oh my god, come on. And now in here, I quick save, quick load. I, and then that should go through the... Why is it doing this? I'm quick saving and quick loading. Why is it not skipping the dialogue? 5.30, dude! Let's go! That was six! Oh, fastest marriage of my life! We are now... Here, 33rd. Damn, it's still a lot of time to save, but I can do it. If I get the horse, could I save two minutes if I don't fuck up the horse tilt? Like if I fly through the air correctly and I don't mess up load warp. This is probably doable, dude. You can save two minutes if How you, you do that? yourself up with olive oil. I do need a, to be more lubed up. I could take a shot of olive oil before this next what run, just to give the believers oh, yeah. some uh, fuel. Believer oil. <laughs> I just joined what's going on. Now I will never know if that's a meme. I will never know if people genuinely are confused. It's also the way that people ask what's going on in my stream has such a degree of like panic it's scary not knowing it's just i'm like imagining somebody who just ran out of a burning building right and they're just told all of their family is in a horrible car accident and they kick open their front door and they come and sit at the computer and scream what's going on like it sounds horrifying what they're going through but it's i'm just playing a game like i'm it's not a big deal none of this is a big deal and like people go nuts like it's just so intense. The stream is a burning building. It's just like, it'll be like all caps, multiple question marks, like freaking out. It's like, Jesus Christ. Look, it's it's Twitch. Doug, help. What's going on? What's happening? Saying what's going on and asking for help makes it a lot worse. Who are you? Where the fuck am I? I don't know, man. Doug, give my family back. Help call the police. Help my child, they took everything. What does the oil mean? What are you hiding from us? Why did you do it? God is doomed. <laughs> I just joined, what the fuck is happening? See, ironically, now is the first time where it would be appropriate to join my scream and ask what the fuck is happening. Maybe for new people, I'll put on really pleasant music. You guys act as though I'm just like torturing you and refusing to save you from a burning building, but I'll just keep <laughs> pretending like I'm getting nice messages. Hope everybody's weekend's been really good. I've had a, I've had a, a solid one. <laughs> Woke up this morning, I had a nice egg breakfast. <laughs> Thank you guys for all the subs and support, by the way. I, I really appreciate it.
It's always a lot of fun just to hear from people and just know everybody's doing well. <laughs> Somebody said, Doug, my eyes, please. <laughs>
but just in case, what's going on? <laughs> you don't have to be careful. You'll be fine. I trust you. Your goal is under five minutes, but it seems like my husband's goal has been to last under one minute. <laughs> well, I took a wrong turn. Went a little fast. I probably went a little too fast. No, 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 wait, no, no, I tried, I tried early, but it, it glitched. No, I had it, dude, I had it. I pressed the button, but you saw it, like, stuttered. Come on. I just got here, but I believe in the power of olive oil to slick the time below five minutes. I have had 500 calories of olive oil in the past, like, 30 minutes. Name one thing I can't do with that much fat in my body. Hey, Doug, Doug, long time, Doug. First time, Doug. Doug. <laughs> Thank you. Very kind message. No, horse, 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 don't run away. Don't run away. I'm not even saving. I have to do this in one shot. Way too fast. Oh my god, no! That was so fast! So you're saying there's a chance? Come on! Hey, Doug, long time viewer. My wife divorced me and left me for a Bethesda developer. I need to get my mind off that or I'll be majorly depressed. What are we doing today, my main man? <laughs> <laughs> this fucking horse! What? That was perfect! What? What? I swear to God, horse! What is it doing? I didn't do that! God, I love this game. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, you asshole! You fucking asshole of a horse! No, it's too fast! It's too fast! It's way too fast! Who the fuck am I? Oh god, this game! Oh. 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 One shot. I press it. Oh my god, I don't know. I don't, I, it's too early, but maybe it's possible. No! 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 I pressed... No! Fuck! I pressed it! I'm going crazy! I pressed quick save and then quick load! God! I think I have olive oil in my hands! And I slipped off of the quick save before quick loading! God! This is also driving me insane in a way that is different than other challenges I've done that are driving me insane. There's so many just like weird little things in this, in this run. God, it's so tantalizing. Taste it. I've got a mission. And that mission is to marry some stranger over in Riften and then promptly kill him. Good start. Okay. That's a perfect start. Now it's all up to horses. Can I fly a horse correctly? Once I'm at Riften, it's not that hard. There's not that much I can really do to speed things up any more than I already know how to. I think that's just enough. A little fast, but but good. That's not as close as it could be. That's pretty goddamn close. I don't know if it'll be enough for four minutes, though. Dodging Brynjolf. Oh my god. Alright, now we get married. Dude, this is gonna be so fucking close. Oh my god. No! Oh my god, it's so close, dude! Four fourteen, dude. That was a good time, but oh fuck. How do I shave 15 seconds off? Was it where I landed? I mean, that was good. I'm happy that time. 4.14 four is, is really, really solid, I think. It was a good run. It was a good run. I'm proud of that. Cue the victory music. Not a lot of people can say they're in the top 20 of marriages. <laughs> That's true. And then maybe one day, Star Olive Oil. Star Olive Oil Twitter? 
<laughs> Damn it. I don't think there's that many people who are as passionate about star olive oil as I am. 